Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are going to be watching a shunt reactor termination at a substation. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light Company and this video is sponsored by Kansas City based engineering firm Burns and McDonald. Now the first thing you're going to see here is the lineman uh, sizing up a power cable to connect to the bus bar at the substation and he's measuring the size of that cable. He's using a heat source here, a flare, to loosen up the jacket of the cable so he can peel that back. You see him doing that now with the needle nose pliers peeling back the jacket outside that cable. And once he gets that uh, peeled away, he's revealing what are called concentric neutrals, the copper wires that are around the cable. So he's going to now bend back those concentric neutrals and uh, feed them down along the jacket of the cable. Careful not to break them. Now he's going to tamp them down so they rest securely against that cable jacket. And now he's going to come back up and cut what is called, cut away what is called the semicon, semiconductive layer. Again, using needle nose pliers, he will peel this down and peel it off and now he's going to be measuring the depth of a NEMA four-point connector also called a lug that uh, brings power from the cable onto the bus bar and vice versa. He's going to measure down on the cable now in this case about three and a half inches and cut away that pink insulation. And Now we're introducing what's called cold shrink termination and this is you see the black cover there that's the termination or the termination cover and the white plastic inside is just holding it in place as he peels that away that black cover actually compresses onto the cable to become the termination itself. Next up he's going to remove that NEMA four-point connector or again lug and he's going to now peel back the insulation on the cable so that he can make a connection, put that lug back on, and connect it up to the bus bar. I'm going to line that up. And next he will bring in a crimper, and this actually secures the connection between the exposed cable underneath and the NEMA 4 connector, 4 point connector on the top, into the bus bar. So that's the transfer of electricity. Once he's satisfied with that crimp, he's going to make a water seal using tape. And then once he gets that done, he's going to disconnect that and uh, clean off the face of that lug. He can do the same thing to the face of the bus bar to make sure he gets a clean connection. And then he's going to put on deoxy, which is a deoxidization agent and then he will go ahead and reconnect the cable end or connector to the bus bar to transfer power. Now we're going to go back to those uh, neutrals, concentric neutrals, the tails of them, he's going to gather them together and uh, using ratchet cutters, you'll see now there's a second termination here on the left, he's going to cut the ends of these tails off and bring in a neutral uh, copper bus bar that he's going to connect up the two neutral tail ends here using uh, split bolt connectors. He's going to make sure we have a, a neutral bus there between the two cables. So secures that in again with the cordless drill and now he is going to go ahead and attach a label tag that will identify the cable and the circuit and now you're going to see a picture of our beautifully completed shunt reactor termination at a substation. We hope you've enjoyed our video on shunt reactor termination this participating utility was Kansas City Power and Light. And again, the video was sponsored by Kansas City-based engineering firm Burns & McDonald. I'm Jim Ducart with TND Howe Videos. Thank you so much for watching.